Are you struggling week to week trying to find what content to share on your social media channels? Perhaps you're even day of trying to randomly scramble and find something to post because you know it's important that you be posting on social. If you're running into issues scheduling and managing your platforms, we are going to show you how to do everything you need to create consistent content and distribute that content in one hour for one week. Stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to our channel. We are High Season, a social media agency that helps entrepreneurs, business owners, and marketers step their social media game up and break the algorithm. Absolutely. So today, as you said, we're going to show you how to schedule one week's worth of content in just an hour. So the number one thing that generally we hear from business owners, and also it's also why we end up managing a lot of channels, yeah. is because um, they just don't know what to do when it comes to like creating content, distributing the content. They don't have the time. Fair enough. You're running an entire business of your own. Yeah. That requires attention. So we completely understand it. There are some people, though, who can find the time to do it. They just need the process in order to be able to execute correctly. That's why we're jumping in here today to show you our tools and what we do to basically schedule content for our clients and how you can do that in one hour. Yes. Let's get started. All right. First thing, before you even get to the content part, you really need a strategy. You need a social media and content strategy. Mm -hmm. Without that, all the rest is make it makes everything else a little difficult. Yeah. Because it dictates must, it, right? It dictates it. Yeah, Absolutely. it dictates the content you should be sharing. Yeah, everything has to align. Yeah. Also, to have a marketing schedule. So, you know, if you have a Valentine's Day special or promotion or Christmas or something for the summer, whatever yeah. it might be. Particular you, events and things it, like that. Absolutely, yeah. 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 You need to know what your business is planning to do and then you can schedule the content around that to support that message in the lead up to it, during it, and, you know, post if necessary. So with that in mind, we're going to break it down. The main key thing that you want to do is batch your content creation. Yes. Okay. And if you want to look at some content creation tools, you can check out our video. It's going to pop up right here in the eye thing. Um, <laughs> in the eye thing. In the eye thing. The in little the cards. information thing. The cards. Sorry. Yes. That's my job. That's okay. I do the editing. He handles the YouTube jargon exactly. and uploading. Okay. It's a partnership. <laughs> <laughs> So what you want to do is batch your content creation. What that would look like is, and it's actually what we do for our clients, Yes. taking all the photography that you need, photography and video, and putting it into one session. So that could be a three hour session that you're deciding that you're gonna create a shot list, have all the products that you need. So if you are in retail or something of that sort, making sure that everything that you need is ready for the shoot. Or if you're just a personal brand, just ensuring, creating a shot list of, these are the areas that I want to shoot in just to make sure that I have a gallery of content. The main thing is building a library that you can use. So batching the content looks like making sure you have a photographer or it's going to be you with a tripod and trying to take at least 20 photos in one shot. Yeah. I would try 30. We usually like to recommend daily posts. Pretty yes. much doesn't matter what you do. It's yeah. better to if you can aim for one a day. So you'd want to go for around thirty-ish photos at once. Now yeah. sometimes it's not possible if you uh, have a situation where maybe you're limited in the space where you could do it, and then everything's going to look too similar. Yeah, you can split it up over maybe two shoots a month. Yeah. some of our clients we do that for as well. Yeah, and then what will happen? You don't use all the photos from each shoot in that following month. But you might use some from that month, some from two months ago yeah. that you've sort of stashed up and haven't used it yet. So it can kind of accumulate over time. I mean, but the idea is to compact it and compound it as much as possible into a smaller time frame. Go hard, you know, have everything planned out, have a shot list yeah. and just make sure you can get it done in as short a time as possible, which mm. will just reduce stress and friction and kind of that like yeah. internal thing that kind of eats people up and, and kind of scares people away from... I just have nothing. From, yeah, I just have, I have nothing. nothing. I like, what am I going to share? It seems so yeah. much, but if you've got a team, like you said, yeah. a photographer, for maybe a couple people from the business that can kind of share creative ideas yeah. photographers are usually like that's what they do right yeah. they can help you do that like lean on them yeah and get that um, in one create done mood board if you're wondering what to share look at other brands look at your competitors look at people in a similar vertical to you and then kind of create a mood board from the images that you see that they have and then present that to the photographer be like this is the type of content i'm trying to share that'll make the photo shoot go more smoothly and yeah. that'll make creating videos and things like that go much smoother and then you get this full library that you can utilize to schedule that could basically cover you up to a month and yeah. we're only talking about a week here but this could cover up 
cover you up to a month. Exactly. The more the better because what you're really going to end up doing is like you're going to be pickier when it comes down to selecting those images or videos. Videos is a whole other thing actually. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure that would be done with a little bit more intent and you are not going to create 30 videos in one day. Yeah, kind of like short videos. Like yeah. Little, yeah. Like Instagram videos. And of stuff, course. Yeah, yeah. Without two, maybe yeah. 15s or whatever. Mm -hmm. But the idea is that you want to be out at. It's like if you go on, on vacation you, you don't just bring what you like how many days you're away. You bring extra clothes because you want to pick something. It's yeah. the same thing. Like you want to choose the images that you want to use and it's good to have like a bucket of different vibes and moods as, and that you can put together in a grid. Exactly. All right, so the next one, that was creation. So now we're talking about curation. So this is for uh, getting content that you didn't create originally. They're not pieces of content that you made with a, you know, a camera or whatever. Mm -hmm. So there's a bunch of different ways to do that. Um, you know, sometimes depending on your business, it's not possible to create your own content all the time. Maybe it's something that's not specific, intangible, so it's harder to photograph or whatever. Um, so a few ways to do that. You can sign up to mailing lists from specific websites that mm -hmm. you know have fantastic articles mm -hmm. that you want to share. That are relevant to your brand. Absolutely. Course, yeah. Um, or you would have maybe a bunch of uh, websites, you know, three to five or more if you're you know, a bit prolific, but the websites that you visit regularly that you know have those type of articles as well. Mm -hmm. um, I'm sure a lot of people do, you know, you, you, some, I, I get a lot of my articles from Twitter. I follow those brands or publishers on Twitter or Facebook and then I, they sort of come to me. Mm -hmm. So I don't even really need to look for them. That's another way you can do it as well. And just they're in your face and then if you're looking at them over the week prior, save them in the spreadsheet or however you like and then they're ready to go for selection and they're still relevant for the next week exactly. of scheduling. Another thing that we love is um, signing up for Google Alerts too, yes. which is very cool. You can sign up for Google Alerts so that everything that's relevant, one, your brand, anything that's articles on your brand can come to you, but anything that's just relevant to your industry can come to you as well. And then you can have those prepped and ready to go to send out. Yes. And if you aren't able to create your own content in the form of photography, there are very cool stock websites out there. Unsplash is one of them. We love Unsplash. Yes. Raw Pixels is very cool too. You can get really, they take really great unstocky like so like obviously stock photo type imagery yeah. because it's crowdsourced so that's also um a really good option as well and they're free and they're free so once you have all your content and you're ready to go you've built this media library of your articles and the blog posts that you want to share and you have all the images you want to share then you want to be able to sit down in front of your computer and schedule that out this will not take you more than an hour we'll talk about some of the programs that we like using we specifically use sprout social for our clients sprout social is a social media management tool that allows you to schedule content in addition to a few other things like social media listening uh, reporting and things of that nature. That's not as relevant for this video. No. We'll get into some of our favorite tools in another video. But Sprout Social allows you to just schedule your content. So you can sit there, decide, all right, I'm going to do Monday to Friday. Monday to Friday. Monday. I'm going to do Monday to Sunday. There are seven days in a week. Uh, hey, so. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do Monday to Sunday. Sit in front of my computer and just pump out the content. That's you it. have your photography ready to go, the images, you have your articles, and then it's just about pasting them in there and writing captions, depending on what that is. Whether it be a clever caption or just whatever's in your brand voice, which you should also know. Yes. And once you're speaking in your own brand voice, especially when it's your own brand, it's pretty easy to stay on brand and just kind of write the content out. That's it. Should and not take you more than an hour to do that. Not at all. And the best part about um, Sprout is that they have, you can plug in all the main social networks. So Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter, as well as LinkedIn. Yep. So you can actually schedule individually. And if you've got more than one Facebook page or more than one Twitter account, you can mm. you can also add those to it. Yep. And, and a Pinterest, I believe, as well. Pinterest as well? Perfect. So there's a whole, Perhaps. yeah, that sounds for me. It's yeah. just we haven't had We're that We're just for not using client. it. We don't use it much. Yeah. But it's all in that one interface, yeah. as well as like the reporting. So everything you need from A to B, yeah. A to Z, sorry, is all there. Yeah. Um, super, super helpful, and we found that really good. We're actually going to have a link in the description for a referral code for High Season. So if you are considering signing up for Sprout, hit that link. Yeah. Um, we also have other programs that we've used in the past and some we still use for different purposes. Mm -hmm. So say Instagram, everything is Instagram focused for the most part. Um, an Instagram first strategy, meaning that we would we have programs that you know like later, like Planoli. Did mm -hmm. you talk about either Planoli of those in that is video? my favorite. Yes. Uh, Planoli we actually talked about in our five favorite tools video, which will be in the card and in yes. the and in the Ooh, description well below. See? We're all anything to take me too long. Uh, and we'll thank you as well for everyone who's watched that video. That's nearly a 20 Yeah, my gosh, that video is at like, like something crazy. Yeah. Yeah, which is insane. Well, I don't know what if it will change from when we drop this. I think it's at like 17K, I thought. As of right now. Yeah. So yeah, which, is, is, pushing to, which yeah. is crazy for us because we only started this account a few two months, months ago. ago. Yeah. yeah, like two or three months ago. Yeah, so it's pretty crazy. Um, so yeah, there's a lot of good 
tools and tips in there, but Planoli is a really great visual planner. So it allows you to actually upload all those beautiful images that you've taken, put them in there, and then arrange them so that they look aesthetically pleasing. That helps your account convert faster because if you have an aesthetically pleasing account, you increase your opportunities for conversion which are follows, followers, engagement, and things of that nature. That's it. Um, and that's free for 30 images yeah. at a time. And then um, the paid thing is like $19 a month or something like that. Yeah, so it depends how much you're using it, to be honest, or mm -hmm. how often you're posting. If you're yeah. doing monthly, like daily posts, then you'll you be covered. There's another one in an alternative to Sprout called Buffer. Mm -hmm. was that, I think that was also in the tool video. Uh, no, it was not in it was the not? tool video, but I do love Buffer. We've it talked about like, it before. Yeah, think, we've talked yeah. about it before. Buffer's fantastic too. Yeah. It's a little less robust for what we needed for our clients. Yeah. They're actually changing that a bit. I haven't really checked out how things are now ever since they introduced um, some various tools and kind of segmented it into like a uh, social listening, a bunch of different things. Right. Um, but Buffer's really great. Uh, that's how we started when we were just us in the agency and just yeah. us like um, creating content for ourselves. We were using Buffer. We just needed really better reporting, which is why I went to Sprout. Buffer is much better price. So I think it's like $10. It could be 10 or $15 a month, where not, Sprout yeah. starts at 99 US dollars. Yeah. So Little that's something different. to consider as well. Um, but it allows you same thing, plop everything in, schedule it. And what we love about both these tools, they actually have recommendations on times to post yes so you can set up daily posts which we always recommend and then they can offer you uh, times that they think is best based on when your audience is online and are most active that's it another way you can check for times as well you can just check them manually via the back end of the insights um, of each of your network they mm -hmm. usually tell you when the most appropriate or the the, the most active time mm -hmm. to post so that's usually the handiest way to do it and most accurate as well yeah um so that kind of covers it eh? yeah so we're looking at batching your content so making sure that you have a media library and that in, includes created content and curated content and then just getting all that ready to go in a scheduling tool it's really about just making sure you have the tools to succeed and we highly recommend the the platforms that we mentioned sprout and buffer planoli and later for visual planning then you'll be able to create your content in one hour for a week sit down for four hours do the whole month that's it yeah. and it saves you doing that day-to-day -day thing when you're just yeah. waking up every day and you're kind of like thinking what, oh what do i post what do i post we have and so many people that are just like oh, i don't know i don't know like, and then you might it? talk yourself out of it yeah. and then you just don't do anything or you yeah. get too busy but at least this is done yeah and then you're good to go and have to think about it for a month and that's all you have the to most think about is community management that exactly. is so perfect if you schedule right and everything's just out and distributed and running in the background then you can focus on actually building the community and attracting new followers that's about it all right guys if you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up Hit subscribe below, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from us. I should also say comment below, okay? If you have any questions, please feel free to comment. We are in there, we're answering everything, we're not ignoring anybody, so make sure like if you want an answer to a question, we're here, we're your resource. That's it. Um, follow us everywhere on social media at High Season Co. Oh, that's like and you can check <laughs> Yes. Sorry. You can check out the website at highseasonco.com. Until next time. Peace. Woo!